best like no one ever was to catch them is my real test to train them is my cause but like getting rid of expressive and fable in that hand and then also having an answer for gold's fan there was there's nothing you could do that was like best case scenario if he drew into the consecutive lands which he did okay ouch hmm on the play i don't know i can't really risk it not having any playable cards so I will maul this. Keep. Hmm. I'm gonna keep. I just don't know what. I'm trying to. I'm trying to already think of like the, the curve. If I want to not play the tap land. I think I think we still play the the tower turn one. Yeah, okay. Obviously don't love to maul, but it is what it is. And so annoying with it's like not the matchup I want honestly they just have so many answers to to what I do Fable Fable Not trying to let him know I don't have any more plays. And if you're not familiar with that, obviously you don't. <laughs> I drew another mirror breaker. Come on. <sighs> so unfortunate. That's why it like That's why you gotta play for the top deck. It just happens so often. Mirror Breaker is so good too. Do we like that trade? Let's see. No, not really. That Valky's not really doing much. <sighs> yeah, but highest mana. Okay. So I think we gotta wait on the Angel. So it just doesn't die. Or we could bait that out. And we could bait it out, bring it back. No, that's that's too slow. And say go. We won't do it on our turn. One because it makes us vulnerable to the to it dying. No, I didn't mean to do that! I was trying to explain the move. Oh my gosh. That's so frustrating. My opponent's probably so confused. Oh my goodness. Alright, well we probably lose this game. Wait, does that tap him out? 
Yeah, so I think I'll just put a that way. If he attacks, he has to give one up. And he can't voltage surge it because he doesn't have an additional um, treasure token. So hopefully we can pluck out like his only playable card right here because this is going to be our last hope. Love. All right, so he does have to draw out of this. Let's see what he's got. <coughs> really? Wow. No way. No way! Oh, it's so so good. Oh my god, I can't believe, I can't believe we misclicked the emperor and still won that game. All right, opponent, what you got? What kind of generalist do you have? All right, so I'm sure I'll regret this, but I'll bring in. Mm hmm. Keep the verse in, out of respect for the Kiki Jiki, obviously. Reduce charm. I kind of like the Emperor against the charm because it's just instant value. Hmm. I'm really not a fan of taking out like the card that won you the game. I feel like they have so many answers to this angel. So, I think that's fine. Do we want the bank buster? Bank buster is tricky against this, against the genless because, like in theory, like it gets around their cards nice, but they tend to, they tend to swing for a lot of damage out of nowhere. We can do one. I think one's fine. One's fine, and it'll. We have a lot of one for one, so. Love having, like, an advantage. Uh, you know what? We won't do it this game, but if we go. If we go to game three, we'll. We'll bring it in. I just want the one drops to. For on the draw to be able to. Kind of swing the board around, swing the early game around in our favor. Okay, so do you need a third land, but we're on the draw. So we'll go for it. We have one, two, three turns to draw land, and we do it. Awesome. I actually think we put this on blue. No, nope. We'll just pay the three to keep the verse up. We need the black for Kaido, like if we play this on white, then we'll have white, white, and black and blue. So we'll mess our mana up. That's fine. Turn 
turn five. What are we expecting here? Do we let him loot or? Hmm. I'm just okay, so I'm thinking. So if we verse the Kiki Jiki, like that's our play, and then we don't have removal. If you drop something next turn, Kaido would be our only play, so I think we just pass and keep these open and then make another token. And if he does play something for this, for the Interceptor, it'll give us a fair amount of momentum. And we'll be able to Kaido and keep up first next turn. So I think I like that line. Okay, two lands. It's fine. Pretty <laughs> so good. Oh my gosh, so good. And then also we have the verse, which hits that as well. Beautiful. All right, we are in great shape right now. We swing with the tokens because then he's not blocking the interceptor if, if, uh, if he blocks a token and he didn't block anything for some reason. So, all right, so draw two here. He gets that. Finally, have a major favorable board state. Favorable, sorry. All right, so guess we'll just let this slide. We're definitely gonna get rid of the Kiki Jiki unless he plays something else. One, two, three, four. So he can't play the War Chief, and then we'll have an Emperor as well to answer the War Chief if we spend the verse. Ouch. Okay, so we'll. Okay, that's fine. We'll reverse the chariot. Alright, it's Jendex. Go so big up top. He would just stay aggressive, honestly. Like, we've got the Emperor. We draw. That's a nice hit. It's kind of risky to rest, but don't have any direct conniving, and it's kind of a kind of a tricky situation right now. So, All right, so he knows I have the emperor, so he's he's in a tricky spot too. Okay, it's fine. Copies the war chief. It's fine.
do have another Kaido, luckily, so it doesn't make this decision super difficult. Um, yeah, it doesn't make it too difficult. So broken right there. <sighs> so broken. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we can attack, but we have cards to loot, so it's fine. Doesn't really have many flyers, so this is this is a uh, disposable. Okay, the Legion Angel Angel's pretty goaded right now. Pretty good draw, and it's a close one. Close game two right now. I guess we'll beef up the token because we like the War Chief trade. That's just so much value on this card, honestly. The War Chief. Just so much value. Like, he blitzes, like, he creates another 4 4. Like, he's insane with Kiki Jiki. That's just so much value on one card. Trample gains 3 life. Actually, don't love this block because obviously if he has removal, don't love this block because he just replaced it with another creature. He's getting rid of this anyway, so let me just let it die. It's fine. <coughs> Excellent draw. All right, so second chariot, war chief. Not too bad. So I think our strategy right now is to just uh, win with flyers. Which, no reach, so six. So they'll put them at 11. So this will present lethal. If he doesn't answer it. Alright, let's see what he's got. Doesn't save him. Good game. 2 0. Excelente. So, two 2 0s. We are back. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the biggest. Um, like, when I was messing around with, like, Jund, like, that was kind of my biggest problem was. I felt like I kind of had to go pretty heavy on removal because because uh, 
the lack of flyers and reach. But there's just so many powerful cards in the format right now and so many different like things you can do with the color combos, like your biggest choice, your biggest struggle in these decks. Like I didn't see Unleash uh, the Inferno, which is pretty annoying for my deck to play against. And I tried making a build without it. He could have just not drawn it, but I felt like the build I had without Unleash, that was the biggest, uh, biggest thing I was missing. Nice little two for one on that card, and it is a, it does cost four mana, but that's okay. So awesome was able to squeeze into full matches. Um, was on a little bit of a cold streak for a while, so feeling pretty good to get a couple two O's. Chat, what do you think of the list so far? Any opinions, anything I could have done differently in game, any questions on the list? You know, I love to make weird card choices sometimes, but trust when I say everything is very much uh, thought out. Every single card choice and ratio has been evaluated in depth. Also, we'll be um, reposting these games on YouTube next week. Um, I try to post them like for the best of so for best of one, I'll post like that entire stream at once. But for the matches, I'll try to post the matches like one game at a time. Um, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel if you're not already. Uh, Paper towel, and the link is also on my Twitch channel. Um, the deck list will be available there. There is also an attached command in the chat. You should be able to exclamation point deck if you want to pull up the list as well. And I will be doing, I will be streaming on Monday and Tuesday next week, but I'm going to be out of town for about six days. So won't be streaming again from next Tuesday being my last stream. And then the following Tuesday is when I'll be streaming again. So pretty much a full week off. What's up, Nick? I was just uh, wrapping up, so about to get on out of here. Just dusted off the Esper list, played one match last stream and one, and then just won both of these matches 2-0-2-0. Um, yeah, even even against the like opponent, the last game was drawn, drew pretty potent. Like, did the, did the Kiki Jiki plus... Uh, War Chief combo, so when the the War Chief token dies, he gets the four four Rhino, so he got that off once before I answered it, and then double Chariot had a full field, and uh, we still managed to win pretty comfortably. I don't know about comfortably, but he just he just didn't have answers to to the flyers, and you know I mean to the rest side two, negate stuff like that, so.